Okay, we have two unlocks to go. I don't think there'll be that many runs. Also, if you've noticed the shirt, yeah. I'm doing this all in one. That's probably how I'm gonna do it for each of the characters. If you have any tips, give them. <laughs> Especially when we get into the harder stuff, because I know there are crazy things to do in this game, which I look forward to, but we'll see. Lose HP, draw one card, that could be really good. Not seeing multiple leads this way. I guess we're going to an early shop and seeing if it has anything of use. Don't think we can finish them off. So pop them, block. Maybe we'll try and do uh, a defensive one. Hmm. I can bash and finish one off. Actually, I can double strike and only take one damage. Yeah. That's definitely the play. And done. Alright, let's let's look for not apparently blocking cards. Skull was actually nice. It's a bit early to go to the shop. I do like dramatic entrance though. But it's damage drops off, I'm guessing. Is the issue. And pummel is good too. Any mini money mo. It still takes up your current slot, right? We could also just buy a bunch of potions. I think thinning out the defense. Better. I guess we're going to attack again. It's not bad. Now we just start off. Except when we're one off beating it, actually. We just want a bunch of angers. And upgrade the pommels. Which we... No, we can't do. We can actually, yeah, upgrade two cards. We don't want a trap. Smith. Definitely the pommel for draw two. Hopefully we get a good card off this guy. These guys. We don't have anything to feed pommel into, though. Well, except anger. If we stack up a bunch of angers. I want to try and fish him up quickly. The days too. Mm -hmm. Taking eighteen. Probably not a good choice. Should be able to finish one off though. Then only take nine. Depending on how many days we draw. Where are all my angers? I should have a ton of them by now, right? Apparently not enough. It's fine. We're on low HP, but it's done. Come on, give me some good thorns. Whirlwind, ick. I mean, dual wield with the right powers could be good. At the very least, you can just burn Whirlwind. What does it upgrade into? Two copies. Hopefully we get something to feed into it. Draw three. So we draw four. That's good. That's bad. I'm actually really bad. Oh, I've lost way too much HP. And we can't really finish this guy in two rounds. I need Angers. So I can dual wield them. Give me an anger. I don't have the slots. At least we got done with only taking one hit. Yeah. Gotta. We're probably not fighting this elite with how things are going. Nine, six, 
six. It's not enough. All right, well, we'll play smart. Does it, the first time you lose HP, whenever you lose. Yeah, yeah, so offering is, is just huge draw at the moment with our perks. It's looking like a similar setup. We do have okay potions. It's this guy too, so we can, we can try, we can farm angers for a little bit. And hope. It's not a very good hand either. Forget how many he lasts. This kind of feels like it's good as it's going to get. Maybe I'll draw into an anger. Maybe I'll draw into an offering. Ah, I've got to dual wield one of them. All right. This will get us not anything good. Yes, limit break. Yeah, there's really no point to dual wielding because I don't have the... I don't have the resources. I really should have done it on an anger. Which is fine. We can make up for it now. Alright, that wasn't so bad. We are definitely low on HP though. Must rest. Oh god, I hate this boss too. We did get the bash, but then I can't dual wield the angers. I think it's just better to push the damage on this guy in this first phase. Draw two cards, no. Secret weapon. Mm. Allows me to find an anger, actually. But I don't think any of them have been shuffled back yet. I can save offering for next turn with thinking ahead. Is that really worth it? Not really, no. I think I'm going to take way too much damage here. If I want to use anger. Which I kind of do. Because I take three per? Yeah. I don't think that was the right thing to do. Well, we did get a block back. Then same thing again. We kind of have to wait, which we just don't have the defense to wait. Doing 16 so we can do one more, right? Because the big thing is the spell forming play, maximizing our armor, and also being able to trigger him out of this phase straight away. All right, so we have to do 40 damage to do that. Anger, anger, normal, anger. Yeah, perfect. Uh, we can't, actually we can, I think. Just. Problem is now protecting ourselves is not good. We're taking nine. I have no way to. Actually, I can. I draw off my damage. I've got one chance to find armor. It's not. That's unfortunate. Really unfortunate. Oh well, it's XP. 
It's nice and early, so we can do another one. Grade right back to it. Boss Relic, always. Okay, upgrade, HP, Ren card, and some gold. Start with the Infernal Blade. I still think going after elites is always the correct thing. Because we just want the extra relics. Transformer Defense. Juggernaut. Not bad. So we need to go to the shop or after this elite. Or this elite. That's the better one because we got the question marks. That would be nice. Start each elite combat with two strength. That's actually really good. But I also like this. So one extra card but one HP. Buy that. And just that apparently. Yet, second turn, 14 block. That is nice. So Juggernaut is good, right? Because now it gives credence to us having the defense. So maybe we go block this time around. Exhaust your hand, deal seven damage. Close. It's nice to be able to deal damage while obviously protecting yourself. Exhaust all non-attack cards, gain five block. I feel like we're going block, which is good because we haven't done that. Juggernaut. Look for a better hand. Cleave. We're getting exhausted to defend, which I don't think is worthwhile. Actually, it kind of is. No, no, no. Yes. No. Playing them and getting the block that way and still doing damage is the better. Yeah, hopefully we don't take too much damage. Still think it's better to play them than use second wind. Maybe I was wrong to grab second wind. If it was exhaust attacks, maybe? No, that would still kind of be bad. We gain less defense. He's doing 18. Still better than nothing. And it's five damage per block. Might have been able to finish him off. Wasn't paying too much attention. We can definitely hear. Lantern. Oh, extra resource is definitely what we want. Ghostly armor. Or oh, Reaper. Heal HP equal to the unblocked damage. So it could be a heal four. Could be a huge heal on certain fights. Ghostly armor. 13 block, Juggernaut becomes 7 damage, 2nd win. I really, yeah, I, I just like 2nd win. I shouldn't have grabbed it. I think we we go for full on with the defense. Uppercut. Bash and a strike. Sometimes you don't need defense. But I think we forget about this. Well, actually, the war cry. The final card is good. Potions appear. We can do it with more potions. You need to upgrade. Warcry becomes draw two. That's a plus one. Campfire elite. This way we'll go to the other campfire. Yeah, so we can Warcry. And we can Juggernaut Ghostly Armor. Infernal Blade. Yeah, and look at that, we get Body Slam. We need more Body Slams. That's the card we kind of really want. Now 
We have enough armor. Iron wave is block and damage. Zero cost, find zero costs. All right, ah, God, I hate this elite so much. The days are just so annoying. What do we have? Vulnerable and strength. Why too weak? Right, at least we got rid of one straight away. Let's do some passive damage. Let's try to avoid taking damage. Second wind is actually good because it gets rid of statuses. Yeah, it's just all non attacks. That is actually quite nice. Uh, we can't finish this guy off though. We are taking some damage. Self forming clay is really good. I wonder if it counts as each instance. Otherwise, none of these are good. Do, do, do. Burning Pact, Hero of One Strike. Kind of always want Juggernaut. But we're not finding it. So we can block, but we don't get any, any damage. I can save the Ghostly Armor, though. Maybe the rat's pr the priority. What we want is some way to make Juggernaut innate. That'd be really good. Should've used the other strike on him. Energy parts. Hmm. Energy Pot is definitely useful. Another Iron Wave. The Burning Pact was actually probably a better pick there. Do, do, do. Is there anything we can make cheaper? What we really want. More block. I guess Iron Wave is what we want to upgrade. Ah, it's this guy again. Alright, well we can do Juggernaut straight away. Burnal Blade, Burning Pact, Very Friendly Fire. Second Wind, no. What I really want is the Blockade spell. Here to do 16 damage. Ghostly Armor, just Defend, Defend. I wonder if Bash boosts the damage. No, because it's it's like guaranteed seven. Next turn. trying to think what's the best way to do this. Pervious is nice. Guess ghostly armor. And the vulnerability. We don't have any draw so I don't need to do that. So you want to do damage without doing damage basically. Problem is, this is looking like it's going to be super slow. I 
As long as we can push him through this phase, we'll be fine. Anything I do will push him into the next mode. It's not like we can gain 20. Or do 20, I should say. Where's the armor? In a bash. Maybe should have energy potted there. Only doing 16. Okay, we should have this, I think. Just survive, and then hopefully we can do enough damage. Uh, 16, so the last hit has to overkill. Which it should be able to, right? Because this will do 14, and that'll do enough damage without triggering the phase. Hmm, none of these are really good. Except Demon Form if we're really going down a tanky route. But even then, it, the cost is the issue. Two cards from your deck. Maybe you lose HP to a card. If we're tanking, the Runic Cube doesn't really help. I think the Empty Cage. And I think at this point we actually want to get rid of Strikes. Yeah, we have some gold. Probably go that way. No, this is the two elites. There's no shop, unfortunately, though. I guess we hold on to it. Nuggernauts, Iron Wave, Strike, because you're adding more defense. So yeah, so now we kind of just Demon Form and wait. And then eventually we'll be strong enough where we don't have to be tanky. Save Burning Pack for next time. Nope, not needed. Ooh. Doesn't add defense, so we'll skip. Iron Wave is going to be really good here. Only red thorns. Yes, we just tank up. Just hope that the passive damage ends things off. Wild Strike is decent. Alright, at least that's two down. Alright, but only direct damage counts. Although, maybe we could have done more damage by syncing with, uh, what's it called? The other card? Because it would have allowed us to play two cards. So, the seven damage is nice. Swift Potion. All three cards could be good. Another Burning Pact. Armament, if we can get upgraded, is fantastic. Guess we drink that and take the Swift Potion. Tender Relic. Plate and Armor is fantastic for what we're going for. Got some two cards, change Special Relic. Hmm. I think we transform two strikes and hope we get good cards. Brutality and True Grit. True Grit is kind of bad. Luckily, we can remove it. But we have double our block. 
Return attacks gain a resource. Whenever you shuffle your draw pile, gain six block. That's what we want. And we want to get rid of Trick Grid, I think. The, what is the heart called? Brutality, right? Turns one HP into three. And if we have Juggernaut, then does seven damage and draw a card. So that's pretty big. Campfire, Smith, definitely armament. Upgrades your whole hand now. Elite. Minions. Yeah, so Brutality definitely gets activated. Definitely want armor. Should probably pick off the minions. But bash the boss. We should have more than enough armor. Okay, there's Juggernaut. That's good. Little Blade gets us Carnage. It's enough to end you. Armament again. Burning Pact will save for next time. Well, I would have liked to use Demon Form, I suppose. Yeah, look at all the passive damage. I don't think we need the energy potion on this guy. Not with Juggernaut. He's doing 27, but we're fine. Okay. What do we want to do? Are we just Iron Wave Carnage? Okay, if only we had the demon power. We've been doing a ton of damage. So we're stacked up hugely. Essence of Steel is nice. I should have used Potion. I guess we don't want in this. Battle Trance is also kind of cool. But I think just more armor. We don't really need the Forge Potion as much. Innate. That's, that's actually too good to pass up. Right, because again, the self-forming clay with it is just fantastic. Ancient T, so we start the boss with two extra. We can always Brutality. Warcry first, though, to see what we get. Um, Armament we'll start off with. A bit of Brutality, Grisly Armor, Iron Wave, Double Defend. And I don't think we're taking damage 25, but we're taking a little bit of damage. There's not really much here we need to upgrade anyway. Let's see what we get. Pummel. Mostly armor. We're missing the juggernaut though. That's the only issue right now. See, and now we have the issue because we want to play juggernaut above all else. Two's not enough to actually get us the demon form. But now we're doing damage. Albeit taking a lot of unplayable cards. Yeah, if we just had, I think it's called Blockade. I think we'd be a one run easy. Now again, Strength at Rest Sites, that's interesting. Flame Barrier, Metallicide is actually really good. It's cheap. Flame Barrier is also really nice. No more enemies at these rooms. Upgrade a card. Metallicide, probably Metallicide. Actually, do I have another armament? No, no, it was second wind. 
which I really hate having in the deck. We can get rid of it though. If there's nothing else I want. I just I'm never gonna play it. I'd rather keep my cards. It's definitely good for clearing status effects, but it's it's not always gonna happen. There's Juggernaut. So we can put Infernal Blade on top. Actually, the Burning burning Pact was probably the better thing to keep. Alright, now we just let our block do all the damage. I was hoping that would finish him off. But I mean, we have enough armor anyway. Yeah, so this is where we'd want demon form. But also, do we need it at this point against this guy? No. We are vulnerable. Vulnerable doesn't increase the armor. There we go. Bloodletting. Again, triggers the clay and we get resources. So we can either... Star with plus one. Is it permanent? That's permanent. That's really good. I don't really need the other two stuff. Okay. I forget, is this the first or second boss? Yeah, that doesn't really matter. So definitely metallicize, definitely brutality. Uh, this does not vanish, so we can use it to draw a card. Ah, oh, they don't trigger the draw. That's my bad. We definitely want to drink this with potion then. Well, we have a ton of armor, but it's pretty useless right now. Okay, at least we drew into the Juggernaut. We can do that to make sure we get it. Warcry might be able to use Demon Form. Just want to stack up the armor. Definitely armaments. Definitely the two ghostly armors. Yeah, just so much passive damage. I wish it triggered the draw. Oh wait, it doesn't trigger draw because I don't have that. That's, that was that was the wrong run. Definitely don't want bash. Debuffs? Yeah, a ton of debuffs. Blue Bloodlet. Finally use Demon Form. Still game block. Still game armament. And that's more damage than Twin Strike. Okay. Mostly armor. And just the two iron waves? Is that correct? Feels like that's not enough block to make this work. Feels like we're gonna, we're gonna take some damage here. Oh, not much. We're exhausting a bit too many cards though. I don't think we need to use bloodletting. I think we just wait. So you do heal after the floor anyway. Alright, that wasn't so bad. 
Another demon form? Nope. Skills cost zero when you play exhaust. That's actually kind of cool. Double tap doesn't really matter. Well, iron wave. It's kind of nice there. Well, let me start with one. Can't play more than six or extra relic. I think this is the last act. All right, for now. Where's our elites? There's always one path with two. Uh, do, do, do. Is there a shop on either of these? No, but there's question marks. So I think we're going that way. Okay. Brutality, Juggernaut. I think we kept. Oh well. Explosion's also a bit annoying. Ah. Well, that should do it. Another iron wave, it's upgraded. Here's our shop. Do, do, do. So what can we get? Metal kit kits. Mobile status cards can now be played. Whenever you play status card, exhaust it. Are they zero cost though? If they're zero cost, then that's that's pretty good. If they're not zero cost, then it's not. Do I need to remove any cards? With burning pack we Sort of want a little bit of filler, so I think we just take the med kit. Alright. Do that, do that, do that. Would it kind of be nice if we had Iron Wave to double tap, but oh well. Start with Warcry. Get rid of the burn. Well, actually, let's not get rid of the burn. That's we're trying to put something to the top. The batch to the top. Power size. Cleave. Why not? Burning pact. And there's the iron wave. We have plenty of armor. Done. Best all offenses. Apparently, defense. There's finally a body slam. And we wanted to go, you can go either pathway. We don't need the shop now though. I'm guessing this is a mini boss. We might want to use our stuff. There's only doing five. Tell size, Fernal Blade, Drop Kick, or Burning Pact. We want a burning, we want a body slam, so I guess we're getting rid of that. There's the Juggernaut, that would have been nice to play earlier. And then just a big body slam. It's not huge. And we want to save the ghostly armor. Alright, armament. Um, they're ethereal, so we have to play them first anyway. Now would be when we want the body slam. We got it, actually. So, god. Trip is free. Burning pack, get rid of that. Drop kick is good. No, it's still always better to double tap the body slam. And we're gaining armor anyway. Do, do, do. We don't have any draw, so this is... It's not a good turn. Where is that huge armor when he's not attacking? Oh, 
but we should be fine. Looks like, yeah. What do we get from Chompers here? Nothing good. Another ghostly armor. I mean, if we don't play, it's not a big deal. At least that allows me to lose one. We lose the Gambler's Brew to attain a Relic or Juggernaut. Well, we'll do that. If we don't even play three attacks, we get a block. Uh, this boss is bad. Explosion is not good at this point. Wait till it summons more enemies. So they always have a massive second attack, which is really bad. And there's no guarantee that I can get them low enough. Kind of really need resources. Which we got. Perfect. What doesn't net me anything right now? That. Alright, so we bloodlets. Let me play everything. And wave this one. Throw that. Didn't finish that one off, unfortunately. Oh, but there we go. We survive. Power size would have been nice to play. I think the right pick is just double tap iron wave. For the block. Yeah, here we only take one. Here what we get. Lose two HP. Eh. Bash into body slam is better. Then we're done. Yeah, so I'm not really ever getting the opportunity to play. Oh god, what's it called? I'm really bad with remembering cards. Demon form. There's nothing here I want. Can't find question mark. We shall continue to lift. Because it looks like here yeah, it is permanent, which is great. We don't have that much gold. Alright, we we have pretty decent perks. You start with tons of buffs. And then not much to do. We need more draw. We've got the juggernaut straight away. Oh god, now I'm wasting two of them. Do, do, do. Have we go ghostly? We're burning pact. I think I defend. Metallicize body slam is the best I can do. And we still take a ton of damage. Definitely bloodlets, armament. Oh, See what that gets us. I mean, there's no real point because they're all doing one. That could have been a massive turn. All right, but now we have the iron waves. See, this is when we want body slam. Okay, how do we get the most out of this? Ghostly armor, double tap, iron wave. Ah, oh, he's done for anyway. Red skull, dreamcatcher, potion. Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's unfortunate we haven't seen the defense one. I'm gonna take the shop just to skip combat. Oh, plus we heal, so that's good. Move. Clash is not useful. Definitely brutality. They're not attacking, which is unfortunate. We're exhausting and defend. We want metallicize up. 
So duplication is probably... We won't save it for the boss and we want to play it with Juggernaut. Because that's just massive. The amount of damage they're putting out is also massive, apparently. Ugh. It's not enough. It's the buffing. Where is Juggernaut? 24 order all is definitely good. There's the Juggernaut. We have armament as well. I want to say... No, that was bad. I should have played Bloodletting, actually. Could have had a massive turn here. Do that. Do that. Do that. We finish any of them off. We can finish the one buffing off. Annoying. Actually, if I damaged that one, there was a good chance that... Yeah, with the armor, we could have finished one off. Another body slam. Definite. Transient. Dies in five turns. So, this is perfect for us because we just want block. It does make me half tempted to see if we could do enough damage in five turns. Exhaust or none. Eh, I don't think we can do it with 99. Unless we drew into Body Slam much earlier. That was also really bad. I should have attacked more there. Luckily our passive damage does take it down. It's definitely one we want. I'd hate the, the snake potion. There's nothing there for us. Alright, this is a good elite as well. For us. Um, it's... Actually, I should have used Infernal Blade first. Do I care about Angers? I don't really care about Angers. Although actually our plated damage does not scale. So that is bad. So I guess we're just demon forming. All you know for is like a massive body slam into it. And we're also taking a lot of damage from our passives. Uh, doo -doo -doo. One iron wave, get rid of the burning pact. And then we don't have to bloodlet. We still have a ton of armor. As long as we can protect ourselves, we're fine. We are hemorrhaging damage. 
Hopefully this turns it. Whew. Heal additional. We need to play power. Ah, that's perfect. Nothing we want there. The exhaust is bad. Definitely dex. Alright, we have to rest. We can't lift, unfortunately. Do we want any of these? Don't think we want any of them. Actually, the when it can't exhaust, it could have been cool. All right. Do that. Do that. Wish we had more draw. Yes, we're saving bloodletting. And we're just blocking a bunch. Drink that. Should probably drink the decks. Ah, oh, God. What just made me draw? We need to find Juggernaut so we can duplicate it. We did not find it. Leave. That'll make something zero. Yes, we just focus on the same one. We're doing a ton of damage against it. Alright, there we go. Duplicate. Made Burning Pact. Is that good? No, they're not. Definitely want the defend. Uh, just Iron Wave. Just trying to think if this could get us anything useful. It couldn't. Because no. we would have wanted... What's the card? It's in here, I'm pretty sure. Bloodletting. That we could double tap the Iron Wave. Okay, so you can play them for free, which is great. I'm glad we're super tanky. Here are the strike. Do we need to bloodlet? Kinda no. Kinda yes, because we're a bit weak on armor. If we got the right rolls, we could have finished one off. Come on. Yes, perfect. We lose one ghostly armor, though. Double tap. Iron wave. Body slam. I think that's the heart. Yeah, perfect. Finally won another run. See if it nets us an unlock. Gets us... Not quite. It's fine, two to go. But another finish. We see what's hidden. Yeah, so there's still three cards hidden. We still have the other classes. So a ton of... Holeless. And I should probably, I guess, take some of the unknowns. I think this is the right objective, right? We just want to unlock everything. Anyway, wait there. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.